Hello everyone, this is Anoe Joe here, playing in Voran. This is Building for Science video, Pickups, Build, and Thruster Placement. So I know that I'm uh, still working on going to the Mark IV, but I, uh, there was a couple more things I wanted to try to cover uh, with the Mark IV, and that's Thruster Placement and Organization. Um, also, I need to work on the pickup truck and make it a little bit stronger so it can survive to go pick up things and not get instantly blown up, which has already happened three times. And what I mean by the things, I'm talking about the weapons and the, the weapons and the subsystems that are now forming around uh, the main base on the campaign on Wejo. And it's getting harder to get them with my Anoe Joe's uh, ship it's not very fast so I want to work on pickup truck and make it a little bit more stronger and uh, also this is gonna help with uh, working on my uh, mark 4 build because I'm gonna use utilize a small this as a small build to help with that uh, bigger build so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the original pickup pickup truck and here it is to kind of give give it some numbers so again pickup it truck itself is only meant to drive a core uh, a, a, a wrap around it and fly around and pick up basically uh, pick up the items which are the subsystem and turrets that get destroyed so it wasn't really meant to do anything too fancy the main thing is I wanted to make sure it braked and I also wanted it to have pretty fast acceleration uh, and then maneuverability so you can kind of just zip around and turn around so what I'm gonna do is I want to kind of balance this out and on top of it I'm gonna be using the heavier items which are like your dampeners and I'm also going to switch them out for a Vorneon dampeners and put those in the middle in the line of the ship so it, I just want to kind of like change the design as well as the thrusters what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them kind of branch off and then kind of have like a bracket pockets where they sit into where the outer hull is going to attach to the bottom basically just like it does here um, on the this one and then it's going to kind of wrap around and that way the thrusters themselves even though they're right now like further out I'm gonna push them out even further so that that's kind of what I'm gonna do with this build so some of the the numbers of course I'm gonna to want to have all the yaw pitch and roll probably at four rads including when docked is my goal Max velocity is 174 meters per second. I want to go higher if I can. And deceleration is at currently 800 and or 881 meters per second. So I would actually prefer to make sure that's even uh, breaks uh, faster. So basically, I'm going to kind of cut into this. And I probably could just make it off a brand new build, to be honest. But I'm going to kind of just work through it this way um, so I'm gonna kind of keep the same shape I guess um, and I kind of want to keep it right around four systems I mean again I could always make it bigger but the idea of this is not really meant to be that big it's kind of just you know to kind of uh, move around and pick up those things faster and easier at the subsystems and turrets Okay, so I'm going to actually start off with inertial dampener here, and I'm going to replace all these blocks with dampeners. So, again, I'm going to actually focus on something around like this, I think. And the reason why this is the most heaviest parts I think I'm going to install on the ship so I want to put them more to the middle and that's giving me right now the acceleration of 5,000 you know so that's pretty nice um, we can then probably put in some Avornion generators 
to help with some power. Because uh, we're definitely going to need some power to get this to move. Um, probably just kind of let's do it that way then. So that definitely brings up the power level for sure. And then we're going to also bring up and basically we want to bring engines involved. So with engines, the uh, I want to see if... So we got a th acceleration of plus uh, 23 meters per second. So let's see if I can go down to Organite if that's 23 per second. Um, let's see. Axion 23. And Trinium 23. So basically, I'm not really seeing too much of a difference other than the deceleration rate. So I think I'm going to go with uh, Trinium engines. And just pop them in there. So that's going to bring up the speed uh, more. I'm going to put in a gyro in for each rotation. That one's that way, that one's that way. I need to, there we go. So I got a rotation for each now for the gyro. So that should definitely help out with uh, turning ability. And let's see, we want to add a little bit more power, I think, to make sure that we have enough power to thrust this for a little bit. Let's see. Hmm. We lost quite a bit of deceleration. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that breaks really nice. So what that allows you to do is when you turn, you see this blue arrow up here? See how it kind of drift and then it kind of turns? The inertial dampeners help you with actually making sure where you want to have the ship go it kind of lines up better. So it looks like I'm out turning it a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, I think overall that's still better than what it was before. I think I want to add another line of thrusters on the back. I want it a little bit faster. Again, the more this is out longer too, the more likely it's going to get hit and blown up basically so i don't want that i'm going to rotate uh, move these gyros out and i'm going to put some more dampeners in here i'm just going to replace these ones that way i have a little bit more breaks so let's see how that works and looks. Granted, I don't have the, a full crew. I guess I can give it to right there. Okay. And again, I'm working with only four crew and that's, I need to add some crew quarters, which is fine. I'll do that in a little bit. So that's pretty significant in speed without any upgrades. I'm watching that blue arrow that it's pretty responsive it breaks pretty pretty quick has full turning capability has more f speed so I'm liking that so let's add some room for crew quarters um, rotate this part here and that will give us a little bit more room for crew okay so again, this is not really meant to be a huge build. It's just more of a simpler build. And then uh, the purpose for just picking up things and maneuverability. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add some lat latticing work. 
kind of like I want to make it a one by one not too uh, thick and put it right here I don't want it six out I'd say maybe let's say about four four out there we go and both sides and I need to put on a dock and the reason why I need to put a dock on is I'm going to use that to help with uh, docking the whole sh uh, ship to the part that's going to have all the tractor beams. Eh, just do the whole length, I guess. Do a thin one. I'll use this as the offset, basically, of it, I guess, then. I shouldn't think that. I think that will work. So we'll leave a one. Oops. So it should be 14. And we're going to do an offset of 0 0.2. And that's going to help with uh, the spacing of the partner that's going to match up to this. Okay, so we're going to uh, quick save this design. So. Obviously, it's made more of a Vorion than it is Trinium at this point. And we're sitting at faster. It costs quite a bit more credits than the, the small one just made out of Trinium and iron. But again, if it's not blowing up, it's going to kind of save for itself over the period of time. And they're basically the same slot size, which is four. Uh, let's look at some of the numbers difference. Oops. Uh, oh, I saved it twice. Oops, that happens. I meant to uh, apply design. So this one I did put a little bit of shields on it, but I decided that I'm going to take the shields away because honestly just having that little bit of shield didn't really do anything. It has the same crew quarters, which is 12, which is the same as it ha the, the new one I just built. This one has only 134 uh, seller or 137 acceleration. My new one is 250. Uh, deceleration on the new one is 1,249. On the old one is 881. Max velocity is 348 uh, versus 410. All the rads and rolls are uh, maxed out on the new one as well as the old one uh, I think uh, the generation the power generated is very weak on the old one and that was also part of the problem with uh, the the old one was is it kept uh, basically running out of power so it couldn't br go that far um, and that was kind of again a uh, a fault of it just made that mistake um, and it needs a hyperspace jumping of 10 uh, gigawatts to jump uh, and this one only has 11 storable energy actually I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch one of the generators out for some storable energy and that might be a good idea now that I'm thinking about it just so then I have um, the ability to make multiple jumps. Yeah, that's not too bad of a difference, I think. Yeah, it's a... Okay. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll switch out two, and that will work. Let's save this design. Okay, and I actually did it reduce or increase the cost uh, I don't know let's see it should be 92 all right so let's delete these ones because these are the old models and we're gonna keep this one and it's gonna get a little bit more expensive because I'm also going to add those other thrusters on the outside so now what I need to do is I need to build my secondary ship which is gonna come down here and I'm going to work on basically its partner that's going to match up. Um, 
pick up bed. Okay. So should do is what I like to do to help out with these type of builds to make sure that they're pretty close to each other is I go and copy and paste the dock to match them up. So now they'll have basically the same parts to dock up to. So let's see if I can get this to dock real quick. Here we go. This looks like it's working. Perfect. So now I can come back and kind of work on this a little bit better. I want to build. I want to delete that part. Okay. So now I can do is I want to put some parts on the side here. What I was thinking is I can make some solar panels on the outside of this one and make them thinner plates. And that would be a pretty neat idea, I think. And I want this to kind of come out to uh, about four. So they're going to be 14 long and they're going to be four wide. And why I want that is so then they can have more surface area because I'm going to make them solar panels. And I'm going to check out with the solar panel if there's a change in power usage with them as well uh, between the different colors while I'm at it. Okay. So right now, this is going to increase only 250 megawatts with a trinium and 227 with a axion organite 227.6 and a voron is not tell me is 227.6 so I'm just gonna put in some uh, basically trinium I'm gonna color these and the reason why you want to color them is so then they don't merge together and then I'm gonna do the blue not that solar blue internal blue is the one I like and then you can do is you can then take these two copy and paste and I thought that would work but I guess okay well let's copy copy and delete we're gonna paste that's because of middle snap let's do local snap let's bring the scale the um, oops the scale of local snap up to one that should help Oh, really close oh it might be still because actually the it's docked so unfortunately that might have something to do with it so let's build okay and we're gonna delete these as again let's try to get these plates into place the way I want to Okay, maybe I'll have to actually take it down. I'm just looking in the corner there. That's so weird. Why is it uh, causing a snapping issue? Huh. Okay. Maybe what I can do instead then Is do it this way. Just do Alt and do that, and then kind of build 
local snap off of our global snap off that we can rotate them There we go. Got it to work that time. All right. So let's get rid of these extra solar panels on top. Now we'll be able to build off of that. And let's see. We're probably going to need quite a bit more uh, power generated. Um, I just wanted to kind of add that in there just for the fun of it. What we'll do then is we're going to work on the core parts that are needed on it. So we're going to try to switch, bring down, because it does not have any thrusters, it cannot maneuver up and down like a, huh, a normal uh, chip. That's another reason why gyros are nice as well, though you need some thrusters so there we go now we can go up and down like a strafe and try to redock up so we can see where uh, we need to match up parts And that's something I didn't think about either is it's not it doesn't have enough uh, thickness on the the side because I need to add that extra it's inside that uh, white area so it can't dock um, let's see if I copy a generator and then we come and build and work on yeah, we can do middle snap. There we go. We're going to need some, because this is going to have some shields on this part, this one, because it needs to protect the core unit. So we are going to need some power generated um, on this uh Okay, 31, okay. That should allow it to dock then. There we go. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna build. Okay. So let's start adding some shields. But I guess first I wanna do is I wanna look at, I didn't think about this. I wanna look at what, how many slots the my other partnership had and I kind of want to match that so and we're gonna do that by basically spawning it in and this is the the hall the outside of the pickup truck okay so it looks like we're at nine subsystems and most of it I just added as computer cores, uh, Trinium ones. There was a little bit of shields like, yeah, uh, 0.79, the generated energy and required. Um, so yeah, it's, and then I had uh, 16 crew quarters, it looks like. Okay, so that's going to give me kind of a reference of how it's going to look and work. So let's switch back over and build on here. We're going to want to have shield generators. I'm not sure. So that's 9,011K uh, for the shields. I'm just going to check against Trinium if it, they are the same or they are not. They are not. So wow, that's a lot of diff. That's a lot 
of shield difference. So that's 2.7k for the two blocks. For Avorion, the shield is 9.1. So that's almost, that's pretty close to four times different. Uh, there is no shields, I think, for... Uh, yeah, there is none for the for Organite, and let's go into Shield Generators for it, and it's double for Axion, almost. Okay, so we're going to go with basically having uh, a Vorion Shield Generators, which is going to add some more weight, but we already added, I think, quite significantly more uh, maneuverability to our little primary ship on this. So I can't actually build up because it's in the orange block area of the primary ship, but it looks like we're only going three blocks high. And as you can see, we don't want to stack a two by two on here. If we do that, it's going to interfere with the, the side hull here. So what we need to do is like a one by eight right here on the side. And those are going to be probably my computer walls. I want, and here's where I'm going to build those outside thrusters on, on here. So I believe I can actually take out the shield generators a little bit more. So this will give it a little bit more tankiness, for say, because uh, it was getting one-shotted. And again, this build was not meant to actually fight. It was meant to just scoot and boot. So, okay, so we have basically the thruster sh arm should come out right here, and that's in the middle, and it's a one by one. So what I can do is I can leave that block open and make sure that that arm can come through. And then what I'll do is I'll make a two-piece part just like I did with this one, and then I can wrap it around that arm as well. Okay, and then so we got... 100,000 in shields that's pretty nice and we want our target is we want to try to get to nine slots so we're actually pretty close to that as well already we need to add some crew quarters so I think I can do that in the back here too let's see we want to try to go to to 1.1 scale step we want to keep it at a 1.9 and I want to uh, local snap this and this is going to give that extra space basically uh, preventing the body from touching and that's important So like that, see, it's it gives that gap for that orange space right here. Um, but I wanted that to actually be crew quarters. Uh, I want to go with the later uh, amount if I can do that. And I'm going to now middle snap. And I'm going to build off that framework right there. That brings me up to 15 crew. That should be enough for this little build. And then what I can do, like I said, is I want to go to computer cores. Just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll, I have to undock it because as you can see, the orange box is affecting that, uh, that line. So I can't come this way. And yeah, I'm just going to leave that two by two block open. And in the front, I'm just going to set the same up the same way. I'm going to do that here. I'm going to not save design. I want to uh, do local. Move it to that edge right there. That looks good. And then now I'm going to set up to middle snap. And so on there. So you see what I'm kind of doing, and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to start filling it in. Uh, and again, this is supposed to be kind of a quick build, 
The main thing is I'm going to also get to these uh, this thruster idea that I have. So I'm going to go offline and I'm going to fill in the rest the area in the orange right here this is the way I did with the front and the back and then I'm going to build it up more and I'm going to lead the gap where this arm will come to dock. I'll be right back. There was something I did forget to mention with the the build. It's actually very difficult to uh, fully wrap it and dock the way I would start off doing it. Um, you want the pieces that get really close to the hull to basically be uh, the copy and paste an attachment piece. So like I'm gonna line up and probably use this, say this piece right here to have the the secondary shell that wraps this, okay? Uh, what I was doing is I was taking my primary piece, like the, the start one right here, where it dock, the primary docks to the partnership. Sorry, that's what I was trying to say. Where the primary ship docks to the partner and already getting it really close. And what happens is you have to, it's very hard and you got to line up and wiggle. You got to wiggle your primary ship into that small hole. So it's better to more set up a f flat plate like this and then basically bring in your primary dock to it. It lines it up already and then bring your secondary shell like for instance this one to like basically paste it around off of a block like I've been showing and that way it will make it easier overall and I almost forgot to do that um, that's why I kind of came back and wanted to show that share with that with you um, yeah um, and what I do want to do though is probably get again like a you could really you want to get really tight because the more farther away the it is the more it's going to put on the partner or the primary ship and lower its uh its standards and yeah so um what i did i'm going to do is i'm going to start off of this build and i'm going to use and look at this and kind of start building probably from this like I'm going to need a point uh, two little plate right here and I'm going to build up three and just kind of start and then I'm going to have to go back from a 1.9 so basically right about there actually it's going to have to be a two by two isn't it see that's another thing is I got to make sure my blocks will line up the way they need to do uh, what I mean by that is I need to I'll show you right now so this is a two by two block. If I paste another two by two block right here, it'll be too close. It'll be it'll be pushing into it. You still need to leave a small gap of at least like point. Well, in theory, you can have point uh, point uh, zero five. Usually, I use point one for mine. So I actually have to change this block and I'm going to make that a 1.9 because again I'm going to basically uh, be attaching the whole next piece to this and I want to middle snap it which takes more of the guesswork out so that already starts leaving that gap so when that next piece comes up and it's gonna be like 1.9 say all the way up to here it's already taken care of and accounted for okay so I guess what I'll do is come in here and I'm just gonna kinda look at this build as it is right now and I'm gonna use that to help reference build the, the other part and ultimately I think see how big and bulky this block is even though it's going to cost more, I think even the part, the uh, the new one is going to be smaller, and I'm hoping. So let's just apply a design here. Granted, I'm not going to use this design um, because it's not what I'm looking for. So 
as you can see I already added some space plates on this one as well kind of the same idea what I'm gonna do with the this partner shell so I'm gonna start off with the red block and I'm going to go and I'm going to make it a generator Vorian generator did I okay and I'm going to bring it out to basically two by two but I'm going to make it one by nine as well uh, and again why I'm doing that is I got to paste the same brick and I want it to attach to this one and I'm going to do the internal red so I'm also hoping then I can basically join them okay so now I'm going to make this my new root block and delete this one all right so Granted, I could have just did that by starting a new build, but that's fine. So now this block will be the one that's going to drop into here. So that's only adding one 2x2 two two tall. I need to go three. So I'm going to go and I'm going to turn back on my middle snap. Two, three. All right. But that's not going to really work either because I know I have a point two distance because of the dock right here. So on the bottom, what I want to do is go to point two right here. And this is all going to be one piece. And then I want to add a one point on top. And that's going to give me that hopefully that gap on top. So what I want to do is merge this piece. Oh, I have select a box. All right. So it's a one by nine by 1.63. So if I save this block, okay. If I come over and now build, oops, build. It'd help if I do that. And then copy to board and place it in it should paste in and it gives the gap I need it didn't look like it undocked but it's not as tall as I thought it should be I wonder why let's see that dock is 2.0 oh it's because okay I needed 2.0 point, uh, point two here I want the 3 up and then I added the thickness right here, 1.1, 1 .1, and I'm still off. Okay, so if I come back down, let's see, another 0.2 it looks like it needs. All right, we can delete that. We will build. So it looks like a 0.2 added. So we will uh, merge. We will delete well we'll save this one it's okay there we go and we'll delete the old one so what was happening with my uh, my 31 and one stations was is I had a lot of different parts built in and it was causing a lot of issues because I was kind of losing track of them all and that's kind of why I had to I haven't released the 31 and one station yet on Steam because it's just I'm having issues with it so now what I would like to do is I have a point two lip right here because this is a bigger block and I need to kind of come off of here and add two by twos up and also I have a little bit of a gap up top so I want to start adding some shields into this and I'm gonna bring that 2.2 .2 out here this way basically and that's going to allow it to match the the width of the three 
So I want to, yeah, I want to go two from the bottom, 2.2. .2. Okay. Just remove it. And this is kind of like how I kind of work these things. So I want to go 2.2 .2 right here. And I'm going to go to local snap. Snap it in. So then there we go. That's that space gap that I wanted to, uh, my gap I'm bringing up. So now what I want to do now is change this right here. And I want to change it to shield generators. And let's try to make it yellow, internal yellow. And now we're going to bring back the blocks to the 2x2 two two format. Minus the, I need to still keep it at 1.9. I mean, technically I can guess I can go to 2.2 .2 in the front here because I have that uh, angle right here. Um, you know, I'll just keep it at 1.9 to make sure I don't make a mistake. I'm going to go middle snap and I'm going to come up to, actually I could just fill it up to come to think about it just like that. And I'm actually going to change this to internal blue right here. Because this is actually going to be the outside of it. I'm not going to um, add any defense to this really other than the shields. And this is also going to be a test for the Mark IV. Uh, I might not be adding armor to that one. Um, we'll have to see because my shields have been doing pretty well. It might be a huge detriment to it. We'll have to see when we start working on that one. Uh, we're going to come in and then we're going to just, I want to make sure I test that piece again. I'm going to not want to do that. <laughs> Silly me. I, I want to copy it and paste. So then there we go. And it came in and looks like it's still actually docked. That's really neat. So yeah, now I can build off of that. I want to come out. Uh, there's two ways to do this. I can do two by two blocks and I can put a spacer joint in down on the below, which is what I, you seen that I was removing. And then I make it a solid two by two blocks or I can continue the 1.9 block kind of round and give that extra gap that it needs uh, that way. I think what I'm going to do is I'm on this build, I'm going to do a two by two block and leave that extra one by that little plate in. So I can actually work that in. I can actually do that right here. I can make these thicker. I'll show you that right now. Build and I'm going to add basically plates on the side of 1.1 thick just like that and I'm going to merge them together all right so now that should give me enough space and it will attach onto this and it'll give me a gap along the side now what I can do is I can work on this piece and build on it and then basically add the extra 1.1 thickness on this all the way down so then that way it's a little bit easier to make sure i line up the blocks and that's what i'll do right now so i want to make sure that this is the generator because uh, this bottom part is the generator i do not want it color i want it to we'll just copy and paste it be the same size and bring it down to 1.1 and just merge them for now there we go so that gives that gap right there as well and I'm also going to put it onto my crew quarters same thing that, that extra 1.1 gap in the back here it doesn't have it so I'll do just like I did in the front I'll do a 1.9 in the back piece so that should give that space that I need. Okay, so 
Let's go ahead and actually, while I'm thinking about before I make a mistake, I want to make sure I build and save. that bottom piece with that extra little layer just in case something happens with the build okay and then we're gonna continue work on this so now I have a built-in space I'm gonna go to the two by two blocks and I also am going to add it down around here and up so I'm gonna first I'm gonna work on trying to build the side piece over um, and I'm gonna go do by two by two by two by two blocks excuse me um, and that will be some more shield I think I would be a, not a bad idea so let's go back to actually I could probably can just copy this one and just uh, shrink it down to two by two here and 1.9 I guess and I'll just merge those okay merge all right no, I don't want to do that because I need to bring that one piece on this side. Hmm. And I need to make sure that I have a 1.1 gap and I want to line all this up too. So that means that I definitely need to hmm, make sure that I have a 2x2 two two here. So I need to go like this, make it a 2x2. Two and this will help square up my parts is what I'm looking at. There we go. And some people might be thinking and asking, the reason why I am not in the Hanaway Joan campaign right now doing this build is because this is such a small ship, I think it's going to get blown up. Uh, and that's why I am currently not uh, working there. All right, so what we want to do, this is a two by two, yes. So I want to shrink this down, make it a two by two here. So that should also then put the parts up above and down below. And I can take and go from there so let's save this design. Okay. Let's come over and build. And apply my H. I want to put back on middle snap. There we go. So it definitely is close. Everything looks like it's kind of lining up. It looks like it needs to come down another point too on that part. Okay, that's fine. That that won't be that of a big of an issue. And we can change that generator to blue so then they can merge as well. When I finish building it. Okay, um still not too bad uh, so we go 0.2 more on that and it won't really matter on top how it kind of uh, really shapes up far as um, if, if it's not that extra 0.2 like it is on the bottom for whatever reason if it's two by two on top that's fine okay so let's go back and continue and keep working Let's see. We come in and build. We have an extra point two we need to put on the bottom piece to match up with the rest of the hull. Okay, and let's merge these two because that's the shape I'm gonna be carrying all the way down. So we got the front piece right here is where that block is. And basically, I forgot how long it is. And then we can build it all the way down and back. Let's make sure I get the right length. Actually, I can probably copy. Oh, 
okay, so it's 16 long. So it's 16 long and then plus another 0.2. So it's 18 long, okay. We can work with that. So we're gonna go and we're going to build. So we want to take this and stretch it out 18 in length. And that should bring it back to the uh, crew quarters. So we're gonna go ahead now and save this design. And this is kind of a little bit tedious, but it it kind of makes it worth it once it actually works. And this is some people were asking how I built the, the little pickup truck. This is how I did it. It's a lot of slow, steady, copy and pasting. And there you go. And actually came out further than the back. Huh. Oh, because of the 16 was also in this, so that's why. Okay, well, see, again, I make mistakes. But that's why I am, uh, some of you might have actually seen that I was going to make that mistake before I did. But that's why I keep uh, trying. I keep uh, checking my pieces because that could have, you know, caused a problem, right? If I would have finished building this whole thing without double checking my my look, then it would have maybe not came out the way I was attending. That's the new one, so we'll delete and delete. Alright. We will build and double check again. And copy and paste. Here we go. Alright, now we're lining up the way we want. Okay, and again, we're we're all kind of building around that orange box right now as you can see we haven't actually went into the orange box um, and that's why the primary ship isn't un undocking now what we can do is we're going to try to build the other arms uh, across the top right here and come basically down and block it in right here and in the back what i'll do is i add 1.9 uh, in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and then copy that top piece in. I just wanted to check while I'm here, focus on this block, that yes, that 2 by, see I'm looking at that orange block right there, that box. So that 2 by 2 block is going to be above, so all I need to do is add one of these up to the top and then start building that back uh, piece and I'm going to make that out of uh, uh, shields as well. I'm keeping an eye on the shield, the generated versus regular is as power is two. So I'm going to go offline and do that real quick. Be right back. I went ahead and worked on the top, like I said, uh, as well as some shield runs and then a little back piece. Let's see how it works for attaching. We still have our uh, founding station uh, docked to uh, my bottom plate. So if we go and build on the bottom, we go and select our piece and apply to clipboard. And as you can see, it completely wraps around and allows it to fit. Um, also, I guess I can fill in the spot right here uh, on this edge this corner right here in the back um, and looking pretty nice um, the crew numbers uh, still seem to be I added a little bit more uh, crew space uh, it's up to 18 now right now currently we're at 11 needed and we're going to get a little bit more once we add some more computer cores but it looks like we're going to be pretty decent off our shields are around 200 uh, basically going to be a fourth of a million uh, a little bit more so I mean not too bad compared to the other one was like you just got shot and dies <laughs> um, and we got pretty good decent generation generated energy versus uh, required right now um, so we're looking pretty good there what we so what I'll do is I'll come in and I think 
I'll fill in this piece right here and that's going to be with the, the computer cores as well and that should be it looks like it can be right off that back plate yep it can okay so what we'll do is we'll go add look at that right now we'll build here so we have our shield generators right here and they're at 1.9 but we can do a 1.2 or 2.2 here and the reason why is because it's in the corner so it shouldn't interact against the main hall let's see so we'll do come on copy this part we'll send and change it to a two by two and we're gonna make this a where is it computer core why can't I there we go and we're just going to attach it like so and why are we not lining up oh I know why because uh, the back pieces there are 1.9 so I need to not middle snap the first one. I need to guide it in just like so. Now I can middle snap the other three pieces in. And we got to fill in this little part right here. There we go. Now let's save this part. And it's this one. And double check. And again, like I said, it is a lot of back and forth, but this does help with uh, making sure that the build is going according to plan. Okay, so it's starting to go into where that orange area is now. It looks like this block overlays with the docked object. Okay, so let's try. This is how I've done it before. What I did is it's still lined up. So I'm going to ease the dock ship down and kind of follow it and see if we can get it to place around. I'm looking down here in the corner and it's saying that the the other the partnership sh plate is not moving so I just eased it in there so let's see if we can go ahead and build it now and yeah I understand a lot of this might be hard for some people but hey I think it's worth it and it's pretty fun to do these type of builds and uh, as you can see now it works for the orange area and goes around it all I had to do is just, you know, basically uh, have that work around. And we still have our arms to deal with. We have uh, to bring out our plates in the back. And we need to also make sure we leave a gap. Or no, we don't because we already took care of that on the bottom. So we should be able to go two by two blocks out. It looks like we have one two three two by two blocks we'll bring that out there and it looks like we got one two three in the front so that looks like it's going to work out pretty good for us let's go and work on that right now so we're going to come over here build we're going to take our blocks and one two three so that piece i just put in should be the middle and three so we did work and it did so that should be that middle arm area right there so I'm gonna leave that one blank and again I believe we already took care of the two by two uh, why we can put a two by two in here okay and then what we can do is take this little piece right here and just kind of snap them in here. OK, 
okay so there we go um, that should be the holes for the, the arms coming out let's go ahead and save this one and we'll leave this one up for right now okay and let's try to build we're gonna go build take my part that I just built copy to kill clipboard and install in so perfect so now it's a wrap and then we have our arms sticking out and then what we would do is we take our primary ship and dock up just like so um, what's kind of nice though with these bigger once it's kind of bigger it doesn't move as much see like right now it says it's moving at zero so I can drop back down and you can see it looks like I'm pretty close to being in the middle with the arms coming out but you know it is what it is let's go ahead and dock up and see what my numbers are so it takes my acceleration down to 45 meters per second deceleration down to 227 um, yeah, yeah it definitely drops my numbers quite a bit uh, which we knew was gonna happen because again this is a bigger piece than a smaller so let's just give it a little drive and see how Hey, it still works pretty decent. Stopping, eh, it still kind of drifts a little bit. Let's see, we turn. Yeah, that. see that lag time? So, but I think it's working pretty decent um, for basically what it is. I mean, stopping is a little uh, slower than I was expecting. One of the, uh, I think, parts I would like, like for a, uh, I guess what I'm gonna look for, the words. Uh, one of the subsystems I think would be neat to actually add into the game would be an actual, like, the brakes uh, subsystem. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. And I would like that myself. So what I'm seeing is on my primary that we can use more inertial dampeners. That's for sure. So we can actually do that too. So let's go ahead and switch some out. We always can. We're always going to add some energy generator uh, parts to the overall uh, build on this because this ship is meant to have that. I mean, talking about the subsystems. Um, maybe I should take some out for power. Yeah, let's take a little bit more thrust out. I mean, it's already seeming it was pretty fast at, at, originally it was always pretty quick um, and let's replace these back with generators here like so uh, so that gives us a little bit more generation than what we're using I think that adds some more inertial dampener and it's kind of located more into the center of the ship where more weighted okay so we'll try that out um, later I think that will help it out uh, some more and again it's not going to be perfect but it's not going to dr hopefully drift as much as my other little pickup truck so we're going to come in here and we're going to build a and our arm is working. So basically I could take this and link up everything now, but I want to try to get to that nine sub slots. So how I'm gonna do that is I need to increase my core, uh, my cores, my cores. Yeah, my having more core. Um, 
So if I do that, let's try to add like another 0.5. How many? That's 30 processing power. Let's see how that works. Adding it on to these parts. And yes, I'm, it's taking more parts out away from the center of the ship. That is correct. Um, this this build has a lot more um, shields on it than the other one. Maybe I could just replace that with cores. That still didn't jump me up. Okay. All right, that's getting me closer. Maybe I'll just aim for eight. How about that? That sounds, let's remove all those small ones. Okay, and let's try to aim for more of eight. Okay, so then I'll take and switch out some of these with shields then, and we'll meet that way. So we'll go to shields. And we'll replace, we'll replace We'll replace these ones until we bring it and keep above eight. I think eight's still a pretty good number uh, for what we're looking for. Okay, that dropped it down. And that keeps our uh, shields up pretty decent. Uh, I think that should do pretty good. And I can expand maybe like two shields and then a bunch of. Uh, tractor beams on it to attract all that uh, nutrients that I'm looking for. <laughs> nutrients. Uh, all those subsystems and turrets. <laughs> nutrients. Uh, I know this video is running really long, uh, but just going with it. This is a lot longer than I was just planning it to be. And I've said this multiple times before, but no, no one has uh, complained yet about it, so I'm going to continue to do that. Oh, that's right, because it's still it's still docked up, so we're gonna have to undock and drift down. Wait for it to come to its natural uh, stop. Still, still. Uh, Nope, it's done now moving. Okay, and just kind of ease it in there. And there we go. And now we're going to come in, build, and ta da! And of course it did that time. Okay, that means I didn't get it close enough. Okay, well. That will happen. Not always does it go according to plan. But it's nice when it does, right? So what I'll do is I'll make sure that I didn't shift too much here and I'm going to dock up to it again and reline it up. Okay, and come on. And what we'll do is undock and then come back down. Okay, the velocity's gone. I guess I really... I should have probably gave myself a little bit more. That's pretty much touching it, so that should help. We'll build on it, and we will... There we go. It worked that time. Okay. Now, talk to it. Now, what's cool is I have these arms coming out. So what I can do is I can now use that to help increase my potential to rotate this. So I'm thinking that I'm, if I put thrusters on the outside, because I didn't put any thrusters on my primary, 
now I can use that to add more advantage to maneuver. And that's something I would like to add to this. So I want to try to bring up my my numbers back up to 0.4 while docked to this. And I can do that because it's outside the orange box. And yes, I know this is a big box again. Um, I'm obsessed with building boxes. <laughs> And I can actually maybe even potentially add some engines on the outside and kind of like add outside thrusters as uh, far as acceleration. Uh, and then I'll probably not put any more, uh, I would probably balance out the, the brakes or deceleration and then the generators on the inside again. So what? I can do now is I have these arms coming out and I can really build them right up close to them to this box because it is pretty much locked in I guess if you think about it that way so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use my directional thrusters I'm going to not go to middle snap I'm gonna to go to local snap and this is a one by four, so I want to switch up and I'm going to go to, say, a one. There we go. And I don't know how much is sticking out roughly, but let's go 1.6. That's just going to give me a little bit more extra room so I'm not struggling too much. So, like, for instance, I could put that in. And that's also going to help with my braking too. Um, but that's not <laughs> the block that I was looking to build. So again, the further away I get from the center, the more the thrusters are going to make it work better, if that makes sense. So if I can take this, and this will help turning quite a bit, if I remember correct. So if I put some another one over here, so yeah, it left and right. Yes, left and right went up. It took a little bit away from roll, but it added more to left and right. But I don't have to make it that small. I can make it as big as I want, for instance. Let's see though. What I'm looking at is the one I'm hurting the most is up and down and left and right turn. So how I think I can fix that the most is I could build another lattice frame out. So if I copy and paste and I turn this and I can kind of do right here, I can move it out to the side. Right, like so. And I kind of want to line it up to the back uh, just to make it look some more symmetrical. So I'm going to go out to like 1.5, I think it was 8.5. Oh, that's too much so it was let's try to focus on that right there I'm so 8.5 I think it will be dang it okay let's see and line it up all right that looks pretty good and I, I'm not sure about the front I think the front is a little bit longer Actually, it is symmetrical. Okay, cool. So now I have this lattice thing coming out, and it doesn't really add much HP. It doesn't really reduce too much speed. It does increase the volume of it, but it's not really causing any more of an issue. So if I want up and down, I want my thrusters to go up and down. So what I'll go to directional thrusters, and literally I can just kind of rotate them if I set on middle snap, for instance, right here, right here, here, and there. So that will increase my up and down significantly, and it really helped my roll. 
but it's only at 2.74, but okay. Still pretty decent jump. So let's try to make them a little bit bigger then. And we're going to color this neon yellow on this side. And here, and then we're going to make one neon blue. Inter oh, sorry, not neon, internal. Saying the word wrong. Okay, that actually almost puts us at point four up and down. I definitely fixed the roll issue. So actually, if I can come in and look at my array, okay. So I have a gyro array set up for roll, which was this one. If I can actually probably put that to um, turning, like this one, if I copy this one and replace it, like this, okay. So I thought I could be able to replace it, I thought. Okay. Let's just switch that out real quick and I will build and we're going to apply the normal bottom plate so that I can get that opening up here. Build. And this is the gyro. Where's the gyro way? Okay, so that's the up and down, so, or the roll. So if I take that one away, I can add in an extra turning one because that's one of the ones I'm hurting the most in. So that will help that a lot. And then what I can do is I think if I copy and rotate something like that, and rotate there, I think that's gonna fix my turning as well. So I'll be able to turn and roll better. And actually, I think what I'll do is I'll make these ones actually, thinking about it, multis. And the reason why then it kind of, I know I've talked in the past where the multi ones kind of don't do as good as the directionals, but I think that will, cause the extra gyro will give me full turning and this will help me with more the braking and drifting and as well as a little bit functional to all aspects and I think we'll be pretty close to what we're looking I'm looking for so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undock it and yeah this looks weird it's definitely a different design than what my normal is and you guys thought I was going to build another box. It's just a weird goofy box now. <laughs> so if I can come down and, yep, set on pretty much there. I'm going to build, take my part, copy to clipboard, attach, and dot. So let's see where we're at. Left and right is still, oh, it's only one point three off but let's see how we're doing oh I'm looking the wrong way okay and and again we don't have it fully crewed let's kind of do that yeah like we barely need any crew to run this and I would double this up for engineers so we'll get more speed too stopping power we drift a little bit still but you can see the th the thrusters helping out with that see how they're kind of helping with the braking I was thinking maybe I can turn some more of these because we need more left and right so maybe if I take this because it's bigger thrusters up and down right now and we got these big thrusters here Maybe we can switch them out. 
like that. So we increased our left and right turning almost potential. We lowered our uh, deceleration some, but we're getting some more uh, power. All right, we're, you know what? I'm gonna be pretty happy with that, I think. We can tweak it a little bit more, but we're almost to fours. And, but our acceleration is a little bit down. We have pretty decent deceleration. All right, I think I'm gonna call that a build. I might add some little bit of jet burners here. And what I'm gonna do is some people are like, well, this is my protector, my shields, and I put these arms out here, they're gonna get damage. You're correct. Just like I did on my, my main base here, I put some arms out and I'm gonna do the same thing to add shields to protect the primary uh, ship. I'm gonna build arms coming out and make sure that it's covered in shields. All right. If you're new here, uh, hit that subscribe if you liked it and also hit that like button, it helps me out a lot. Uh, subscribe if, or hit, when you're subscribed, hit that alert button uh, so you see when my new videos come out. In the end, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate everyone that's supporting me uh, and watching, and have a great day.